We're here in the Ashmolean with Dr. Jay Maseglia, a researcher for the Ashmolean Latin Inscriptions Project. Dr. Maseglia, what are we actually looking at here? We are looking at a display in the Rome Gallery of the Museum, a display of lead slingshot from the Roman army. What's a slingshot? A slingshot is a small terracotta or metal bullet. I say bullet, but they're actually quite sizable things. Um, you can imagine something about four to five centimetres long and the shape of a lemon, really. Uh, and it would be put in an old Roman slingshot that would have been uh, used by, by lightly armed soldiers. So a uh, slingshot like Dennis the Menace? Or <laughs> not, the y, <laughs> not the Y-shaped ones that we're more familiar with. The Roman slingshot uh, is a long stretch of rope with a uh, sort of loop at both ends and a cradle in the middle, and you pop your little slingshot. These things are about sort of 30 to 40 grams. They're relatively uh, weighty. You pop them in the middle of the, of the cradle, and then you hold both ends and swing it around your head. And uh, as long as you don't accidentally hit yourself in the back of the head in the process, you let go of one end and your bullet goes flying off towards the enemy. And they're very effective as weapons. So why is the uh, Latin Inscriptions Project interested in these slingshots? Amazingly, although these are very uh, small, if you look very closely at this object, you'll see that it's got um, lettering right across the middle. Uh, this particular one uh, that we're looking at is engraved of Atidius, Chief Centurion of the Sixth Legion. Now this is extraordinary because it gives us a very particular historic event um, that we can attach to this. Uh, object. It was found in the modern Italian city of Perugia, which was the site of a battle in the Civil War of Rome. And this was a battle between Octavian, who later became the Emperor Augustus, um, and on the opposing side, the brother of Mark Antony, Lucius, and Mark Antony's uh, wife, Fulvia. And they were holding out against Octavian. So this is a, a key battle in the history of the Civil War, and we have a piece of military kit uh, directly from it. Fantastic. So do we tend to find slingshots with just names on it? No, we don't. I mean, this one's great because it gives us a particular name and a legion, and then we know that this belongs to Octavian's um, squad. We do have other bits with other names on, but sometimes they can be really very simple. Um, sometimes they say things like, uh, ouch, or eat this, or they have pictures on. There's a lovely one with a scorpion on. So imagine that you've been stung when, you're hit it, or when you've been hit, or a lightning bolt. Some are much ruder. Um, with good soldier humour, some say things like, I'm aiming for a particular part of a particular person. So messages for your opponent. It messages for your opponent, exactly. There's a rather nice humour, a rather sort of dark humour, that the idea that the enemy will know precisely who it is that's hit them. So not unlike modern tactics today. No, that's right. Um, if you've ever seen images of um, messages being painted on, on missiles, it's exactly the same idea, but just with an ancient technology.